I'm Mike from Double Driver, and I'm going to take you through my rig. Uh, starts out with an ESP guitar, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, Randall RM100 head. Um, I'm a big fan of the uh, George Lynch signature mods. Uh, the Grail is my main tone. Uh, I used to use Mr. Scary more, but uh, um, kind of been leaning toward Grail a little bit more lately. And then whenever I do do cleans, which isn't very often, um, I use the Super V. Uh, wireless system is a Electro Voice. Make good units. The dual receiver. Um, really only use one channel though. Furman voltage regulator, which is really killer to have because it always keeps the voltage of all your gear at 120 no matter where you're at and also protects it from spikes and whatnot. Pork tuner, this is the brain which I use for all my effects and channel switching if needed on my amp. And uh, this is just the brain which is connected to a controller, a foot controller through an ethernet cable and I will show you that in a minute. Below the G system is a uh, decimator made by ISP, which is a noise reduction unit, two channels, and uh, probably the best noise reduction unit out there in my opinion. Oh, and by the way, this is my Euro rig, which is a scaled down version of my normal rig that I have in the States, but unfortunately we can't uh, bring it all over because it's be too much. The only difference about the one I have in the state is that you know I have two heads for a backup, and um, I've got um, paddle antennas instead of these guys. Kind of more of a range and a little bit more, uh, a little bit more signal strength out of them. This is the G system. The guy at the TC Electronic really, I think, went over overboard when they designed this thing. This is, honestly is the best effects unit slash pedal board, I think, for any guitarist. So it's got a, pretty much every effect you can imagine except for overdrive. You can hook up volume pedals and expression pedals to control many different parameters. Uh, delay, reverb, wah, whammy. The possibilities of this thing are almost endless. It's got three loops in it, which you can hook up external pedals to. I have a Maxon OD808 that I run pretty much all the time for just a little bit more, um, a little bit more gain. And that's basically it. So this is my guitar tech, Dave. Don't worry oh, about the guitar. Man. The guitar's not important. This is Dave. The poison shirt is what's important. Yeah. Good breath. Yeah, it looks good. Mm-hmm. How'd you get that? Thank you. Of course, Mr. Spritzer. <laughs> this is my custom. Uh, Seymour Duncan Blackouts. They're active pickups. Um, it's a mahogany body. Ebony fretboard. And um, you want to know the string gauges? I use it's a 10 to a uh, 63. This is actually a bass string. We tune and drop, uh, drop C. And I just like to uh, have a nice thick string on the bottom end and one volume, one tone, and pretty much always leave it in the uh, bridge position unless uh, we do cleans and then I kind of pop it up there. But other than that, I leave it in that position 99% of the time. And that's basically it.